medallions. Uh, we'd start painting the front of the building. We'd have the key, so we'd open the door. We'd let the people in. Uh, the neighbors would go, oh, that's so nice. They're finally renting that old place down the corner. It was such an eyesore. And according to the book, No Trespassing, we had keys to 400 buildings, and people lived in between 100 and 200 at any given time. So then we got this, uh, you know, we decided, okay, we're working with the coroner's office and with Sister Bernie Galvin, and we got collected all the names of all the people that froze to death in San Francisco that year, mm. the project we'd worked on for a couple of years. And it turned out 150 people died in San Francisco that year. And so we're going to read their names on uh, December 21st as a memorial. And so I call up uh, Bay City News Service and other radio stations, and they're all telling me, oh, we cannot take... Uh, phone calls from food not bombs. That would be aiding and abetting and a felony. And so uh, we had been talking to Stephen Dunner for uh, just uh, imagining, you know, like pirate radio and stuff. So we decided to make Free Radio Berkeley and San Francisco Liberation Radio. And soon to follow, of course, is uh, radio stations down here and in about 400 cities in the U.S. ultimately. And so, uh, you know, we, uh, we're up on top of Twin Peaks in this uh, camper that we're using, the Toyota camper. And uh, we got an email that day from a group called the Zapatistas. Hmm. And they said, can you read our communique over your radio station? Uh, we're having an uprising down here in Chiapas mm -hmm. against the uh, North American Free Trade Agreement. And we'd love for you to read about that over the air. So uh, we're up on Twin Peaks reading about the uprising in Chiapas. And, and we start noticing a lot of police are parking beyond our, our camper. So uh, we 